what's up LNC fam welcome back to another video rebuilding 2011 Porsche Turbo S got this car from auto insurance auction with the front end collision if you guys haven't seen part one I'll put a link in description so you guys can check it out and be up to date so in this video part two we finally got the parts so we can start working on it and let's take a look and see exactly what's going on with it we'll start with the front end front end had a minor damage I would say nothing too crazy the hood actually survived fender survive i took everything apart in part one right now we're gonna put the car in the frame machine i gotta work on this area i got a new upper piece so we'll start with that and unfortunately we're gonna have to do a complete paint job on this car somebody at the auction decided to put old bumper on the car and all the old parts because they wouldn't fit inside so they decided to just throw everything on the roof and this is what happened so pretty much the whole car got scraped up and also i forgot to tell you guys there is a rocker panel damage as well so we're gonna have to replace this so the car pretty much spun out and went off-roading somewhere so rear bumpers rip right here and damage probably some damage on the exhaust i could see already spoiler got damage as well and then little ding right here as well so we're gonna do a complete paint job and we're gonna make this car look like nothing ever happened so let's pull the car inside put it on the frame machine and start working on the front end so before we start working i want to clear a few things there's been a scam going on and this is the message right here so that's not me i'll never well right in the comment section and say something like that whenever i'm doing a giveaway i'm gonna say it in the video it's gonna come from me and whenever i pick a random lucky winner same thing i'm gonna announce it in the video personally so whenever you see that stuff that's not me disregard that report that especially i'll never ask for your personal information for example social security driver license none of that stuff i'll never ask or ask you to send me money so whenever you hear that that's a scam that's not me so disregard be smart double check everything and don't get scammed now let's get to work Oh, we'll drive baby and now we could raise it up just got the porsche on the frame machine so now we could start working and i already got my new parts so this is the upper cross member they call it so it's just gonna go right here and it's gonna be nice so that's gonna go here so right now i want to pull this out as much as i can kind of straighten whatever i can and then we'll start cutting this one and start test fitting this one and also i end up just getting a new rocker panel it wasn't too expensive i think like 350 or something but it's gonna be a nice clean repair instead of me messing with this and doing a bunch of body work and it's a lot of work i feel like with this replacement it will just be a lot quicker and cleaner and this way i'm not gonna have a bunch of body filler up here so we'll start with the front end once we're done with that and we'll move on to the rocker panel so here's the game plan so i'm gonna drill a hole right here in the body and i'm gonna put one of those hooks in there and with the hook we'll start pulling this corner and see what happens Plus, this is a very strong uh, part of the car, so that's where we're gonna put this hook and we'll pull it. Okay. Okay, we're ready to start pulling and make sure your chain is always straight. And I also ran two chains one on the left side one on the right side we're gonna see how it goes hopefully we don't have to pull that much to put on the actual clamps but we'll see so let's give it a shot come on it's going and you gotta have a nice big hammer
much better. Pretty much straight already because it was pushed in. We're all finished on this side and I'm gonna put a hook on this side as well and do the same thing. Okay, so now we could start uh, cutting this whole piece out and start replacing everything. Okay, right now I want to clean all this uh, caulking off so this way we could get to the panel, to the welds. Got to put some shades on. Okay, so now we could start cutting this one out. So right now I'm gonna use a chisel gun and kind of go around and try to cut this out so I have more access to get to the corners and stuff like that. So I got the frame machine hooked up and I'm gonna yank that out because it's so mangled in there, I can't get to the... Sheesh! Okay, so now we could work on this side. This side should be easier because the most impact was on this side. So now we could carefully clean this corner up and panels removed. So we got some progress on the Porsche. I finally removed everything and now we're test fitting the new panel. And this is what it looks like. Everything fits really well. I still kind of just threw it on just to see. So the hood actually closes no problem right now. So I want to install both fenders and see how my gaps, how everything aligns. And after everything is good, we'll start securing this panel completely. Okay, so this is what it looks like, not too bad. So now we could remove the car off the frame machine and start working on the rocker. So I'll put the car on quick jacks, uh, remove everything, fender, door, and we'll start cutting this one out and replacing it. Just got the Porsche up in the air on Quick Jacks. And once again, big shout out to Quick Jacks for making my life a lot easier. If you guys need a set, highly recommend. Good quality and works the best. So now let's get back to work. Everything aligns pretty good on the front end. So right now I'm gonna have to remove the bumper, the fender, the door, and we'll start cutting this piece out. Start replacing this.
Just removed the fender and the door, so now we could start replacing this. We'll just do a section up here, up here, and at the bottom, and that's it. And here's the new piece. So it just goes in like this, and that's it. All right, we're ready to start cutting out. So first things first, gotta put my Gucci glasses, safety goggles. And we're gonna do a chop right here and chop right here. And I'll just chisel the rest of the out. I'll show you guys. Okay, so something like this for now. Yeah, it's all empty. Boom. So perfect, uh, no other damages. The inner panel didn't get damaged. So very, very light damage. Technically, like I said before, you could save this, but I just don't want to deal with a bunch of body filler, you know? It's going to take me three times longer to replace this little piece. And this way it's going to be super clean job. Yeah, it doesn't get cleaner than this. So. Let's continue uh, skinning this and we'll go from there. I removed the cart from quick jacks because I need to get to the bottom. So the quick jacks, unfortunately, kind of in my way. So I had to remove it so I could drill this lower piece out and then we'll put the cart back on quick jacks and continue working on the rest. Oh yeah, this is what it looks like. Okay, this should technically come off now. Boom. Got a little progress, just removed the old rocker panel so we could start test fitting the new one. So up here, I kind of just went around. I didn't cut because I want to install this piece so we could do the final measurement. So it should be something like this. So yeah, I'm gonna line everything to the old spots. And now we could make our cut right here. Well, I'll just measure everything. So make sure everything is good. And we'll start securing it. So I put a couple of clamps so nothing moves around. So we'll grab like a knife, something sharp, and we could do our measurements. And this is where we're going to do our cut. So now we could remove this. And boom. And then this is where we're going to do our cut. As you guys can see the mark. So I just got to cut it out carefully. And we'll start test fitting the new one. So I just installed the rocker panel, everything lining up perfect over here. So now I could mark this up and we'll do the final cut. Once again, I'll get something sharp. Now we could remove it and do our final cut and we're pretty much ready to start securing it completely. So 
So right here, this is our line. So we're gonna cut it according to this line and the other panel should fit in there like a glove. So I'm ready to start installing the panel and I already made my little pouch that's gonna go between the two panels to connect them together. And it goes like something like this. So I cleaned everything up and then I put corrosion primer as well. So everything looking good. Uh, I installed my uh, pouch plate. This is where we're gonna connect the two panels together. Everything looking good. Now we're ready to start installing it. Let's do this. Just installed the panel, everything lining up perfect. Uh, and before I secure it completely, I wanna install the door and check my gaps, make sure gaps are perfect. I know they're gonna be perfect, just double check, you know. Better be saved than sorry. And then we'll start welding the panel completely. Yeah, everything fits perfect up here as well. So we're gonna do spot weld at the top and bottom and then regular weld right here. So right now I'll put a couple welds so this way it's not moving around and then we'll do a quick test fit on the door. And then if everything is good and I'm happy, then we'll secure it completely. I just did a few spot welds, so now we could test fit the door just to make sure everything lines up good and then we could officially secure it. I just installed the door, so everything lining up good. I like it, so now we could finally secure everything completely. But this is pretty much what I was looking for, make sure this line going even all the way up. Super good, I like it. got some progress so everything is welded so now i gotta use the spot welder up here and then up the bottom and once again we'll be using our pro spot welder this stuff works amazing that's it everything is uh, welded on top so next uh, i'm gonna have to put the car down again Remove the quick jacks, I jack it up so I could get underneath. This is the only spot I got left. So I'm gonna have to jack it up real high, get in there, weld it, and we're good as new. Perfect. We're finished with welding, so everything came out good. So now comes the fun part. I gotta grind all the welds down. And then after that, we could apply our first layer of body filler. And I put a sweater on so no sparks get to me because it's the worst when you're grinding and sparks hitting you. Definitely not a pleasant feeling.
just grinded everything down so it's super smooth. Let's check it out. It looks perfect. What happened? Nothing happened. So we'll apply a little bit of body filler right here and over here. And let me show you what I usually like to use. Best stuff ever. I showed you guys before, but for the new subscribers, I'll show you guys, no problem. So this is the body filler I like to use. 3M body filler works the best. And then for the final, we use glaze. This stuff right here is the best. I love this stuff. So highly recommend. Those are the two things. And then obviously the hardener to mix them up. So those are the products I always use for body work and I like it. So highly recommend. So let's apply our first layer and we'll go from there. Whoa. Wow, it's so hot that I didn't even have time to apply it before it bundle got all hard on me. finished with body work everything came out perfect so we're done with the rocker panel and it's ready for primer next i want to remove the rear bumper and see what's going on because i also got to do some repairs and i believe we might have some rear damage as well so let's remove the bumper double check everything and we'll go from there So I removed the rear bumper reinforcement just to see what's going on up here and everything seems to be okay. Just the exhaust right here. I guess when the car spun out, it hit something in the back. So you know what that means. Time for an exhaust upgrade. <laughs> That's what it means. Okay, so with back end, we're just gonna get a new bumper and exhaust and that's a wrap, luckily. Okay, cool. Really happy with the back end. I thought maybe there's some more hitting damages, but no. So next we're gonna start working on the front end. Uh, just gotta weld everything and pretty much get it ready for paint. But this is what it looks like. Everything lining up good and we're ready to start welding. Before we start welding, let's check our square. Make sure everything lining up good. Boom. And let's check this side. Boom. So we got a perfect square, so now we could start welding. I'm done using the small welder. Now I got the big boy out, the pro spot welder, and we're gonna go around and secure it completely right here, right here at the bottom. So it's gonna look like factory, like nothing ever happened. Let's go. So 
everything came out super nice and then we'll do like factory we'll just go over all those seams and put silicone or fucking whatever you want to call it but yeah it looks clean Just finished installing the front body panel. Everything is welded, secured. I put silicone, caulking, so we're all finished. The only thing I got left, I gotta do minor body work on the hood. Let me show you. From the impact, the hood kind of kinked right here. So we got a high spot and you could feel it right here as well. So we'll work on this area right now. We're gonna have to do body work. Uh, we'll straighten the hood, make sure gaps are perfect everywhere, and then we'll put a little bit of body filler on this edge, and we're done. The rest of the car looks amazing. And let me show you guys the body. Let's open the hood, and everything's perfect up here as well, and I found the same exactly as paint color. So I painted everything up here, installed the floor, ran the wire, so everything looking good like nothing happened so let's work on the hood and we'll go from there Ooh. and that's it perfecto so the hood is lining up real good gaps are perfect everywhere so we're looking mighty good. I just got to remove this uh, clear bra, film protect, and just got to do a little body work right here, and that's it. I guess uh, we'll start removing this, and also we got a thing right here as well. So I got to fix this guy as well. And I think that should be it for things. I don't see any more things on the body. Hood is perfect, fender is perfect. Oh yeah, I noticed there's a little ding right here. Once we put the primer, I could see it now. So I gotta fix this as well. Everything good up here. We've got no dings, just crazy scratches. And this quarter is perfect too, just scratches. And then I just gotta uh, work on this spoiler as well. Just got to do a little body work up here, but the rest of the vehicle is good. So let's remove the protected film on the hood. We'll throw some body filler on the hood and we'll throw some body filler on the quarter. Let's do it. I just removed the clear bra and man, I love this color. Such a unique color. It's like dark blue metallic i love it so now we could do a little body work right here i'll send this down to the bare metal apply a little bit of body filler and we should be good let's go Right now we're gonna start working on this little thing. I'm gonna send this down to the bare metal and then I got my uh, pro spot puller. So we'll use that, pop that out, put a little bit of body filler and we're good. That's it, and it's out. That's all I needed, just one little pull, and we're good.
We're finished with body work, everything is done and we're ready for paint. Let's check it out. Front end is completely done, looking good. Also did minor repair on the quarter panel. And then we'll do the repair on the wing once I remove everything. This way I'll have more access to it. And then for the final, I had a little ding right here. I repaired that as well. And the fender is loose right now because we got to remove the fender. I just kind of threw it around to see all the gaps because we still got to paint the door jam and stuff like that. And front end is looking good like nothing ever happened. It looks fantastic. So we're officially done with body work. So next we'll start the painting process. So for now, we'll end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to this channel and you guys enjoyed the content, you know what to do. Subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. And I'll catch you guys in part three. Do svidanya!